There are things that do affect your cycle, and we actually mm -hmm. have four risk factors that contribute heavily to your to your cycle change. Yeah. Can you talk to, to us about these, doctor? I mean, we've talked about stress, but these other three we haven't mentioned quite yet. Yeah, so um, exercise is actually very good for your period. Uh, okay. When you are during your period and you're having these symptoms of uh, pain and feeling like a little tired and stuff like that, doing what you like or doing workouts that you like will actually help you because your body's releasing endorphins, which are the happy hormones. Right. So then it'll make you feel better and it'll help you like deal with the pain better. Um, sometimes people feel that when they exercise, their periods might become a little heavier. Okay. Um, but that's okay. It's just because the uterus is another muscle in the body. So when you do something that contracts the uterus, then you're, there's more blood flow. Mm -hmm. Nothing to worry about. Um, in terms of hormone problems, very important. Um, if you have big changes in weight, if you are taking any type of medication, if you have certain hormonal issues that have been discovered in the past as a disease, they can all change your periods and make it differently. When you have major weight loss, when girls are too skinny and they're athletes, they tend to get their periods later right. because the fat in your body actually gets converted to um, a type of estrogen mm -hmm. and that causes um, help that helps with all the whole process of the period. Okay. So you'll see that girls who are obese or have higher weight may get their period early and Earlier. it can be heavier. Now let's talk.